Nice, I actually got the one tap. What? <laughs> Three Ladies and gentlemen, let us take a minute to think back to the Destiny 1 beta days. If you were like me, I was just a brand new guardian who stepped into the Crucible on first light. And the first weapon I wanted to try out was the auto rifle. So I went with the Shinjin C slash Shinjin E and man, did I have so much fun. And it was at that moment that I got hooked on Destiny. Yes, auto rifles were that weapon that I touched first and they hooked me onto the game. Who would have thought fast forward to the day, hand cannons would be like my go-to primary weapon. But anyways, hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Frosty the Snowman. and in this video, we're talking about the Shadow Price. This is a nostalgic weapon. It has the same skin as some of my most beloved auto rifles from back in the day. Now, the reason I brought up that little story from the intro is because I want to just cut to the chase and tell you I am very disappointed that this iconic weapon came back and it did not live up to the hype. Now, let me go ahead and vent for you a little bit. I get this auto rifle, it's a 450 RPM, not the strongest archetype in Crucible whatsoever. So we're seeing the, you know, disappointment of this meta. It's like, oh, I can't use this auto rifle because they just haven't buffed it to compete, right? Bungie loves to pick and choose what's good in a certain season. And why bring back a shadow price if it's just not gonna be able to compete with other things. But anyways, that's besides the point. At least you get to, you know, combat other primary weapons such as hand cannons and be someone else is using a pulse rifle the issue for me has lied with my experience against stasis man stasis has been a pretty popular topic ever since its release and i gotta tell you it has not gotten any better stasis shuriken slowness dust field nades here and there constant super spam and sixes it has honestly kind of destroyed a little bit of the enjoyment I would have with using this auto rifle. In the past, I feel like I could get away with using them, but then the constant ability spam, it just makes using Shadow Price not really a good time, unfortunately. So I'm very disappointed Bungie brought back this iconic weapon. I have so much nostalgia with it. And then all of that just shatters the moment I step into Crucible. So I wanted to share that with you guys because you're going to see the gameplay. I made some fun with it. I made the best out of it. But it's definitely not a meta weapon, and I would not recommend Shadow Price right now until they buff this archetype. I'm going to go ahead and show my role with you. We have Corkscrew Rifling. I would recommend Hammer Forge Rifling. We have Extended Mag. Here, I would recommend High Caliber Rounds or Ricochet Rounds. Next up, we have Forge times the Charm. I would recommend the God Will Perk killing wind and next up i got the god roll perk that i wanted which is swash buckler melee kills will buff my damage times five and i can melt people with this auto rifle basically making it able to compete so that's why i wanted that specific roll and unfortunately after 50 nightfall grinds <laughs> this is the best that i got i tried for the handling masterwork i will recommend range slash stability okay Icarus grip is always nice so what else is there to say about Shadow Price? It's just a 450 RPM. It looks beautiful. The iron sights are fantastic. And all the gimmicky has to offer is just a swash buckler. You pair with a melee build, you get the times five and you're melting players. Okay, pretty fun stuff, but unfortunately not really able to compete too well. I decided to pair this with a basher. No, it's not a toxic pull video. Calm down, ladies and gentlemen. I just wanted a special weapon to use for fun. Hence why I'm going one scavenger with my fusion rifle to stop myself from spamming a bastion. Because we know this thing, ooh, I can use it as a primary the whole game. Now for the melee build, we're going with frontal assault here, bottom tree striker. We're pairing this with synthos snipers so that I always constantly have a melee range buff. So that's really nice. The rest of the perks and mods are just to complement the build. Some charge of light shenanigans. Anyways, I do hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. Let's get into it. Take those zones and hold them to your last breath. Zone C captured. Enemy claimed zone A. Oops. Let's throw a grenade to stop these guys from B. Enemy a little bit of chip damage. B. 
One that'll get me with that. No, no, no. No stasis. That scout rifle hurts. I'm glad we won the 1v1 though. Let's get that power ammo. Zone A lost. Oh, those were some free grenade launcher kills right there. Tell them to line up fast. Zone B. Got a little bit of charge of light action. Zone A captured. Power play. Keep the pressure on. Oh. You ain't that kill. Man, this auto rifle feels great. I know they're not meta. It always feels great. When I'm not getting stasis, this definitely throws me back a little bit to the beta. <laughs> Using these type of auto rifles. Your strength is an inspiration to us. Look how satisfying this gameplay is. Like just not getting frozen, slowed 24/7. Ah oh, man. Zone B capture. You yeah. have zone advantage. He kind of lagged too. I'm surprised I didn't kill him with Bastion. And I say lag because I don't know what else I could say to explain why my bash didn't kill that guy. Seemed like the easiest bash and kill. Here's some ace of spades shots. And that's a mercy. Ooh. They couldn't handle it. Ah, he got stasis. Poor Sentinel. He got slowed and he was just not able to like do anything. <laughs> that was a quick game. I got a lot of auto rifle kills. Didn't really get to get any melee kills because... Kind of got that, uh, what's it called? Traumatized. Every time I get close, it's just going to be stasis. Enemy claimed zone A. Zone C captured. I don't want to be there. But I should help out a little bit. Zone B captured. Zone advantage is yours. <laughs> Traded. I heard that bash and sound. I was like, oh, I need to turn on this guy right now because he's going to kill me. Flanked. 
Zone A lost. I really wanted to kill me. Double down. Three opponents down. Now you're fighting with heart, Nadia. A slash blocker, though. Double down. Oh my god, that range. What the hell? <laughs> Don't be captured. You have advantage. Why does Bash and map people? Is that normal? That's not normal, is it? <laughs> teammate was trying to I don't even know that enemy was aiming at my teammate that was like over here and shit he got mapped by shurikens literally sniped that shut them down. I thought I was behind the wall already together. Nothing. Zone A captured. Zone advantage is yours. I honestly have no idea how he froze me. Like, did he ever shoot me? No way he shot me. I never saw that thing come my way. There's no way he shot me. Oh, I'm dead. Perfect. I was just thinking we needed to rotate to see to flip the spawns. This way we can get some more points because we could spawn trap them. And I guess I'll mean I'll just have to pop a super two. You captured zone C. You have advantage. <laughs> okay, calm down. The Bastion doesn't map that far. This is Alaska in the spawn. Try to wipe them together. With ten titans like you, I could what hand cannon was he using right there? The 
That guy was struggling. I think it was a 120. <laughs> he seemed to be struggling with that. Uh oh, behemoth. Battle is yours. Yeah, that was a good nade. Not mine, the guy with the solo nade. <laughs> almost got me with that. Should have pre-charged like way faster. I wasn't sure if he was actually gonna just hold W, but what else would he have done, right? A little bit of chip damage with that. Sound tactics bring oh, victory. Damn. We actually managed to pull the W. Surprise. Usually we get spawn trapped at uh, like a demon for the A soul. spawn. Bring me your friends. I think the game Bring threw me a bone though when it spawned me on C. Because after that we just held the spawn and we brought the comeback to win it.